What makes a good weld? We're going to examine three different elements of this in a three-part series. Technicians, welding machines, and training. What makes a good weld? First, let's look at the technician. It takes a person to weld, including the ability to see where they're welding, a welder that is correct and set correctly for the material to weld, and training of the operator to use the welder. Ask yourself, do your technicians have the correct safety equipment, protective clothing, respirators? Do they use them? Do they wear glasses? If a technician needs to put on glasses to read instructions or car labels, glasses or cheaters might need to be one of their required tools. You need to see the weld to make a quality weld. A welding visor seems to be an option for many technicians. Look away welders are abundant in our industry. If you hear or see a welder, check to see if they're wearing a visor. There seem to be a lot of hand shielders too, or people who can see the weld just by holding up their hands in front of the arc. However, this will burn out your eyes pretty quickly. Welding galvanized steels and other metals may produce fumes that contain heavy metals, which can lead to serious health issues. Many shops forego the respirators and instead have fans blowing on technicians. The problem with this is that the shielding gas you need to make a quality weld also gets blown away. In our next video, we're going to look at welding machines as the second part of the equation in making good welds. I'm Jason Stahl. Thanks for watching.